Okay, so today, this is on behalf of a customer. We are supplying this as a brand new set and the customer has asked for it to be optimised on across the 80 channels and AM and FM. In other words, everything that it will do. Uh, I think he's travelling along Europe or something. So, that is what we are going to get on with. Try not to clonk the microphones. Um, we have done this before. As I said, we've stopped buying new sets. Company policy. Uh, so, hopefully, for once we'll get an instruction book with it. Yeah, wow. Well done, that wholesaler. We'll need that, won't we, to uh, work out what it's doing. We'll be initially doing this on channel 40 of CPT. So I'm not. This is going to come on, on on CPT. So I don't need to look at that yet. What else comes in there? Um, brochure of things and a sticker. So it's a dinky little set with a heavy mic. bracket what's that a spare fuse and some screws and a self adhesive mic clip so put that to one side well I've forgotten that, that these are those small sets uh, wow <laughs> I'll have to put me the glasses on to even think about seeing it Plastics speaker lid, looks a more generous speaker than sun, and it's Torx screws. So hopefully we've got a suitable screwdriver somewhere. I'm sure, I put all the Torx ones somewhere special, but that special place now eludes me. As far as that team radio went, the customer decided to have his non-working no hoper back plus buy the uh, demonstration set offers. So, so as I say, I, I've never known anybody who'd been happy with those sets on receive. They um, they've got crystal filters and all that, but I think they're too narrow. And as we all know people aren't deviate the deviation on a lot of people is greater than the two and a half it's supposed to be and in that case they're going to receive abysmally a bit like the Wagner grandstand bases do it's not because the sets are no good necessarily it's because of the filtering is a bit too narrow for reality now I'm going to have to pause the video and look for a talk Okay, we're back with the screwdriver. I'm just on a stupid phone call. And when it eventually connects, someone... This isn't a sales call. Uh, your home may qualify. I said, what, a load of bolocks. Phone down. Are you actually telling me that anybody ever buys anything from somebody who cold calls. I just can't believe they can ever sell anything. What is the chances of somebody phoning up and saying, hello, can we interest you in buying a PNI HP 55 CB radio? That's actually just what I want. You know. Oh, the other one is, we're in your area and. So if they weren't in our area, they wouldn't be able to help me at all. Which is difficult because if they aren't in my area and they can't be bothered to come into my area, if I had that something, if that something 
needed service work, well, they wouldn't be in my area, would they? We're in your area, what's that about? I'm trying to disconnect this speaker without pulling the lead out. And if I'm correct, we have to have a stereo adapter for these. For some bizarre reason unbeknown to anybody except them. supposed to do four watts. I've printed out, instead of opening the customer's instruction book which is new and sealed, I've uh, previously downloaded this when we did it before and uh, hopefully we've got enough of the instructions to get by. It's got quite a lot of features despite its tiny size. We're going to have to take it out of its, out of its nappy. about cold callers when I worked at, at Henry Groves and Sun Church Organ Builders at um, um, after I'd done my apprenticeship the phone rang and I was actually looking for a photocopier and I'd got ranked Xerox on the shortlist I'm going back to like 1987 or something like that um, the one or two others which I'd been looking at and I just needed straightforward A4 to A4 no gimmicks and we're talking about a thousand pound machine back then so anyway phone rang and this smiley lady she said, hello I'm from rank Xerox I wonder if I can interest you in a photocopier oh no thank you so I just crossed rank Xerox off the list so that advertising call, or whatever they call it, was actually the cost them a sale. Because they were actually top of the list. So, let's see if we can, we're going to zoom in on this a bit. So I need a printout. You know what, That I was just about to print that off when the Blumming phone rang and it put me off doing it. Right, power on. No pussyfooting around, it's a new set. How do you switch it on? Or do I need an instruction book? Is it function? Is it M? Yes, it is. So, the moment it's doing 2.5 watts, we'll do all this on channel 40, so we're in the middle of the band. picture in picture on so we can all see it. It's actually 2.8 watts. So we're going to do um, 1, so CPT 1, CPT 40 and UK 40. So 2.8 
2.8 take that to channel 1 okay, yep. 2.8 and then we have to find out how to program it into UK that's why we have different fees for how much we do as to how many channels and how many bands because uh, it at least got factory reset. Um, anyone got any idea? I'm going to have to. Am I going to have to know? It's changing the standards. Briefly press. Oh, right. The AF and AF button. To change the radio standards, the following steps. Briefly press the F and AF buttons in the following order. You have to hold on to one. Oh no, 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 it's done it. It's a bit touch and go, and then what? PTT. So now we want channel 40. And it's 2.6 watts, which is always going to be more power down on channel one of CPT and this is one of the reasons we prefer to optimize them for 40 channels so we'll now um, what shall we do if I now press A and the F it should take us back to to what very slow to change channel so that's UK so what was I doing what does that do then So that's UK. That's UK. That's CPT. Oh, it's a long press. But it doesn't do AM um, straight from here. We will have covered all this before. Yeah, it's definitely on the definitely on the CPT now. Right, so the CPT channel one. Let's see whether we can increase that. Two point eight watts. So we've now got, well the set's now warmed up, um, I'd like to say uh, 3.8. So go to channel 1 of CPT. and channel one of UK oh no we're doing 40 weren't we
3.5 watts. So out of interest, channel 1 of UK is 3.6 watts. So as you can see, as predicted, it's going to always going to be doing better power on the CPT sets of channels. And of course, that difference will make absolutely no difference. It won't even be feet. Um, we'll be doing a scratchy corner test on channel 31 of UK. So that's going to be showing it at, at its worst performance, which is ideal. So what's next? Let's have a look at deviation. So we'll do this because we're set up for a deviation on UK. Wallow, wallow, showing 1.55. There aren't any receiver adjustments, so I haven't had to um, do any before and afters on that. So it's drawing 1.8 amps. Much thirstier than older sets. I'm going to go, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go for a lunch break because I haven't switched on the other test equipment to make, uh, make sure the deviation... Um, is spot on. I'm just going to switch it on. It only takes 10 minutes to come on. Um, I'll just do the deviation on this test set and then verify it with the other. So that should be right. We'll just verify it with the other set. At least there's enough to to do a a, de, a a decent deviation, and we're not kind of struggling to get two. So that's nice. And the other thing, while we're at it, we'll just do the frequency, which isn't adjustable. It's twenty seven seven nine one five six. Twenty seven seven nine one five six. Uh, it's going to drop with age. That's absolutely fine. It's well in spec, and. Our sample was actually slightly low. I think it was 79087 or something like that. So this is actually better than our sample from the whole sa same wholesaler. Um, but uh, that was a couple of years back. So there we go. So when we come to receive, you know, what you get is what you get. And I'm sure it will be excellent, but we'll, we'll show you those figures. So it now means we need to go into AM and to do that. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't allow you to to do AM um, it, when it's in UK mode, which is sad. So we'll have to go into CE mode, won't we? So or is it EU mode? I can't remember. Find out, won't we? Yeah, there we are. AM. So we'll do it on channel forty. AM up on the meter. One two. I'll, just need, I'll probably need to tune this in. Wallow, wallow. So this is going to be D um, for AM mod. Wallow. That's ninety one percent. There we go, that's that set, and that meter's absolutely fine on here. We're going to test this AM when we get to the um, test, you know, in, in the test car. So uh, you'll hear how it is. But it will, AM, as you know, never works as well as, as FM. Um, and I've got 40 years' experience of that. 
uh, in business radio. So I'll take a lunch break while the other test it, uh, set warms up and then we'll go over to the deviation meter. One, two. Wallo. Okay, so we've verified now that that is uh, two point uh, two ish on the uh, other test set behind me. Just go back to AM. Wallo, and that's ninety, about ninety three percent. So. Um, it's not applicable. No test. 2.2 to 2.5 kilohertz. AM mod is 93%. So that's that bit again. Okay, so we'll move on to receive. Now, as always, my test set is going to read about 0.4 what's less than anybody else's because of the way it doesn't measure interference so anybody else reading power will include the interference whereas mine excludes it so you know that's going to be um, a good four watts now right um receive so did we say well we're not going to do it on um, uk because we're now set up for am um zpt Pop it to FM and we'll select 27405 on the signal. So we'll put the frequency display up. 27405. Okay, so that's now re on receive. So, oh, that's the power gone off. I, it does. I do find it frustrating when sets are terminated with a cigarette lighter plug because I do have difficulty with crocodile clips going onto it, and I have no intention of putting a cigarette lighter socket on the bench. I just feel CB red is supposed to be permanently installed and not. You know, it's a bit um, suggesting you're going to just shove it in and not fit it properly to me. Anyway, that's how it is. Um, I was looking for something, wasn't I? We can select whether you're on internal, um, as in the internal speaker in here and the handset speaker. You can have both on as a way of setting that. Um, it will be in the instruction book. And what we were going to do is to plug in the test equipment into the extension speaker socket. But I'm probably going to have to tell it to send it to that. So we'll see what happens when we power it back up again. So we need to turn the volume down. Whatever that is. Oh, is that is? Right. So, sign of meter on. So there's no... Oops, where's that gone? There is no adjustment on the uh, receive. So what you get is what you get. So how do we get rid of the squelch? That's how. No, still got squelch. Okay. Is that auto squelch? Yes, that's manual squelch. So, we've got 0.32.
12 dB, 0.28, for 10, so for 20, very respectable 0.69. So squelch threshold is manual. Squelch. Just turn the signal generator to standby. So our minimum one is flashing one at us. Point six two, which is excellent. So on full, you can't wrap it round. You have to go up, do you? Twenty eight is the maximum. Let's see where that is. Three ten thirty hundred three hundred. It is two point five millivolt. So on auto squelch, do the same again. So this time it's we'll press it twice. Uh, it'd be sensible if I take that to my changing channels here. Yeah, it'd be sensible if we take. Oh, I've got to press squelch. I'm never going to get on with these type of things, you know. Now I'm lost. Right, squelch. So we've got to take it down manually. I'll take it to about point three. That should do. Now we'll press it again, twice, to go into... Oh, do you hold it? Now we're in auto squelch. So, zero on the auto squelch. I've got to turn the volume down, haven't I? That's the channel, that's the volume. Not point seven five. So auto squelch threshold is not point seven nine. And let's see what maximum is. Oh, I'm doing this again. I just can't get used to things like this. Five is maximum, right. And it is 2.8. Okay. So we'll set that to three. No, I'm doing the channel again. Three, there we go. Um, press F and that arrow HM speaking microphone activated uh, BO microphone speaker and bass speaker activated bass speaker only activated so there's the options and it's run through our stereo adapter I'm sure but this is one of those kind of sets that shorts out the speaker if you put in a mono plug. Um, I'll tell you what, I know it's our, not our set, but I'll just try it for a second. Oh, that's the power off again. No, it definitely doesn't uh, like that. Right, so it's time to put the lid on.
So it has an S meter on it. Helps if I'm on the same channel. What are we on? We're on CPT. Channel 40. What on earth are we, what mode are we in now? I was hoping we were in volume mode. Right, so now there's our signal. So S9, you see the bar graph? S9 is in fact there, which is four bars. That's 100 microvolts. And on transmit, what happens? One, two, three. Four, five, one, two, three, I think it could be six, yeah, six, for the four watts. So our best bet is to make sure this is on UK set of channels. So F and AF, UK, there we go. So now, CE, or long press again, UK. And that's FM only when set like that. So now we'll put it on the aerial. instead of the test equipment and see whether anybody's out there. And we'll do a test later on today on the air and then it can go out to the customer. Now we need to up the squelch. So there's our threshold. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll go one down from threshold so that it's hissing. Oh, these are channels. Oh, good grief, I'll never get used to this. And now we'll go through the channels when it lets me. One on a Roger. And there goes the power. Now we'll go to CPT. Click around the channels. foreign interference
Nice in a Roger. Back to UK. Just a bit of something. Nice in a Roger. No. Right, let's get this squelch activated. Wrong button again. There we go, squelch setting 10. So, a lot of a faff, as I said before, but they appeal to some people. You'd need to set the squelch how you want it, and the auto squelch how you want it, and flip between the two, because that's all I think you can do. Um, so changing channel uh, is here, and changing volume, and there's software control keys, for, uh, as we've said before. So I will throw them in these uh, printouts, it might help. Um, what did we say that was? You know, they're just... Um, um, note. External speaker. Must be stereo type plug. There we go. So we'll catch you later on. So that's the second HP 55, but this one specifically for a customer that we've done. Thanks for watching.